I want to congratulate uh, Jamal Charles and Don Terry on their awards as they're both very, very deserving honorees. Our family and the Chiefs organization are very proud to be affiliated with the 101 Awards, and we are excited to welcome so many of the top names from around the National Football League to Kansas City for tonight's event. Thanks to Gary Heisey and his team, as well as the sponsors who make it possible, the event continues to be a tremendous success and somehow manages to get better every year. I also want to say a special thanks to Paul Burmeister for being here for tonight's festivities. Paul is one of the best in the business, and we're always glad to have him here in Kansas City. It's always a pleasure for me to announce the newest addition to the Chiefs Hall of Fame at this event. And this year, we are delighted to name Gary Barbaro as the 43rd member of the Chiefs Hall of Fame. Gary joined the Chiefs as a third round draft pick in 1976. He was the first player ever drafted from his alma mater, Nickel State University, a small school in Thibodeau, Louisiana, and he made it an immediate impact on the defensive side of the ball. As a rookie from a small school, Gary's first training camp at William Jewell College in Liberty was an eye-opening experience. Gary still remembers the grueling summer heat his rookie season and the hours of extra drills after practice with his position coach, Tom Bettis. But he found a friend and a mentor in a veteran defensive back from another small school who managed to make a name for himself with the Chiefs, Pro Football and Chiefs Hall of Famer Emmett Thomas. Nearing the end of his Hall of Fame career, Emmett helped Gary acclimate to life as a defensive back in the National Football League, something Emmett obviously has a knack for. And Gary went on to start every game of his debut season, earning the Mackley Hill Award as the team's top rookie. Gary's NFL career spanned seven seasons, and he made the most of his time on the field. He started all 101 games he appeared in and holds the Chiefs record for most consecutive starts to begin a career. In 1977, in a game against Seattle, Gary picked off a Jim Zorn pass in the end zone and returned it 102 yards for a touchdown. The play still stands as the longest interception return for a touchdown in Chiefs history. He was selected to three consecutive Pro Bowls and named All-Pro three times beginning in 1980 when he tied a single season club record for interceptions with 10. In 1979, he was the first player awarded what is now known as the Derek Thomas Award for team MVP. His 39 career interceptions are the fourth most in team history and his 771 interception return yards rank him second behind his former teammate and mentor Emmett Thomas in our record books. We're delighted to have Gary with us here this evening, and we are already looking forward to having him back for the official enshrinement ceremony during Chiefs Alumni Weekend later this fall. It is now my pleasure to introduce the 43rd inductee into the Kansas City Chiefs Hall of Fame, Gary Barbaro. How do you follow Park? Well, let me tell you a little story. He, he mentioned uh, the first training camp at uh, William Jewell. Uh, we had some real memorable ones there, but the, probably the most memorable one was with 81 with the, the temperatures well up, up above 100. And how we, we didn't lose somebody, our fallout was, it was incredible. But at this time, I'd like to thank the Hunt family, the Kansas City Chiefs, Probably the best coach I ever had, Tom Bettis, uh, as Clark alluded to. He was, one, he was a guy who took me under his wing and, and taught me how to read quarterbacks, read offensive linemen, and, uh, and worked me hard after practice when I thought I couldn't go any further. He knew how to push me. Um, I was blessed to be part of a, a team that had a lot of veteran players, Emmett Thomas, Willie Lanier, Jim Lynch on the defensive side that kind of took me under their wing. This, this, kid who came from Nickel State in Thibodeau, Louisiana. Let me tell you, I didn't have a clue what was going on. Thank God those guys kind of sheltered me and, and, and brought me along. It's truly an honor for me to, to be up here. Um, I, I was telling Gary, I said, I keep waiting for somebody to tap me on the shoulder and say, gotcha. <laughs> uh, it's, it's incredible. I said, 
it's too late to take it back now because I've told too many people, so <laughs> it, it's mine. Uh, it is truly an honor, and I, um, I'm pleased and to be uh, thought of in the same breath with you know, the Emmett Thomases, the Willie Lanier's, you know, Deron Cherry, uh, who I played with, uh, Lloyd Burris. We had some, some fantastic talent in our, our secondary, and you know, a lot of what success I had was directly contributed to by those, those people. So again, uh, thank you to the committee. Uh, it's truly an honor, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty much speechless. Thank you very much.